Today I'll be teaching us how to do a decomposition model with regard to the uh, total change in food grains production. The data is on the left hand side that is in the excel sheet where I have got the year, the area under food grains production, the production under food grains as well as the yield. To the right hand side I have got the formula of the decomposition model where we are going to find out the yield effect, the area effect and the interaction effect. So when you uh, take the first part, so P is equal to AO, so AO refers to area in the base year, uh, delta Y refers to the yield in the, uh, in the current minus the base year and delta P refers to current production minus base production. Now next when we take uh, the yield effect, now yield effect here refers to Y O refers to say yield in the base year, delta A refers to current area minus the base area into 100 same the delta P here refers to current production minus base production. Now this is the interaction effect where you have to multiply delta Y into delta A which is already done here can just copy it over into 100 divided by delta P. Now we will see uh, what is the area effect, what is the yield effect and what is the interaction effect. So here N, N refers to all those yield area food grains in the current period and O, O refers to all those which are in the base period. Now first we will see the area effect. So first the area effect you see this is the formula. So under area effect you see it is AO. So you have to take the base area value that is 44.9. So where is 44 now this is the base area 2001-2 is the base area that is 44.9. So what is delta Y that is the yield of the present yield minus the base yield that is we are referring to current yield. So you have to minus 2.404 with that of 2.079. Then as usual in the formula there is 100 divided by production. The delta P, the word delta comes itself you have to minus the current with that of the base. So here delta P means 104.32 minus 93.4. So when you uh, uh, substitute all these values you get these values and finally you will arrive, the, uh, arrive at the answer for area effect. Now next we will go for uh, the yield effect. In the yield effect you have to take the base year's yield. Now what is the base year's yield? It is 2.079. It is given over here. Now you have to take delta A. So delta A refers to what? The current area that is current area is 43.39 minus the base area 44.9 as usual into 100 divided by the delta P. Delta P have already we have done it earlier also in the area effect that is 104.32 uh, minus 93.4. So when you substitute these values you get these two. Now the last one is the interaction effect that is you are multiplying delta Y with that of delta A and then later dividing with delta P and into 100. So you are just going down you can see we have taken here this one value of uh, delta IVC 2.404 so we are taking the value of say 2.404 that is for the delta Y we are minusing it with the base here similarly we are taking the uh, area effect that is the current minus the base here you can say 44.9 divided by again the current year minus the base year into 100. Now how to interpret this answer. So in the above example the yield effect and interaction effect are negative. So increase in uh, food production was brought about by the increase in the area effect when compared to that of the yield. So this is how you have to interpret your results in your research work. I would like to remind one thing there are various methods to calculate decomposition the one which I taught is one is one such method. So there are various other multiple methods you can very well cross verify 
but the formula adopted will be some, somewhat similar in almost all the method so you can adopt it and you can carry out in your research work hope you are clear with this thank you for listening